the Fed and the stock market are in the spotlight. Let's get ready to rumble. And the Federal Reserve and investors appear to be locked in what one veteran market watcher has described as an epic game of uh, chicken. What Fed Chair Jerome Powell says Wednesday could determine the winner. Here's a conflict. Fed policymakers have steadily insisted that the Fed fund rate now at 4.25% uh, to 4.5% must rise above 5% and importantly stay there as a central bank attempts to bring inflation back to its 2% target. Fed fund futures, however, shows money market traders aren't fully convinced the rate will tell 5%. Perhaps more galling to Fed officials, traders expect the central bank to deliver cuts by year end. Stock market investors have also bought into the latter policy pivot scenario, fueling the January surge for bidding down technology and growth stocks, which are particularly interest rate sensitive. Treasury bonds have rallied pulling down yields across the curve and the US dollar has weakened. Cruising for Brosen, to some market watchers, investors now appear way too big for their bridges. They expect power to attempt to take them down a peg or two. How's that so? Look for Powell to be unambiguously hawkish when he holds a news conference following the conclusion of the Fed's two-day policy meeting on Wednesday, said Jose Torres, senior economist at Interactive Brokers in a phone interview. Hawkish is a market lingo used to describe a central bank is sounding tough on inflation and less worried about economic growth. Now, in Powell's case, that would likely mean emphasizing that the labor market remains significantly out of balance, calling for a significant reduction in job openings that would require monetary policy to remain restrictive for a long period, Torres said. If Powell sounds sufficiently hawkish, financial conditions would tighten up quickly, Torres said in the phone interview. Now, tre Treasury yields would rise, tech would drop, and the dollar would rise after a message like that. If not, then expect the tech and the Treasury at rally to continue and the dollar to get softer, hanging loose. Indeed, it's a loosening of financial conditions that's seen trying Powell's patience. Looser's conditions are represented by a tightening of credit spreads, lower borrowing costs, and higher stocks prices that contribute to speculative activity and increased risk taking, which helps fuel inflation. It also helps weaken the dollar, contributes to inflation through higher input costs, Torres said, noting that indexes measured in financial conditions have fallen for 14 straight weeks. Now, Powell and the Fed have certainly expressed concern about the potential for loose financial conditions to undercut their inflation fighting efforts. The minutes of the Fed's December meeting released in early January contained this attention-grabbing line. Participants noted that because monetary policy worked importantly through financial market and unwarranted easing in financial conditions, especially if driven by misperception by the public of the committee's reaction function would complicate the committee's effort to restore price stability. Now, that was taken by some investors as a sign that the Fed wasn't eager to see a sustained stock market rally and might even be inclined to punish financial market if the condition loses too far. If that interpretation is correct, it underlines the notion that the Fed put in quote, the central bank's seemingly long-standing willingness to respond to a plunging market will, with a loosening of policy is largely kaput. Now, the tech-heavy NASA composite logged its fourth straight weekly uh, rise last week, up 4.3% to end Friday as its uh, highest since September 14. The S&P 500 SPX plus 0.25% advanced to 2.5% to log its highest settlement since December 2. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average DJI 0.08% rose 1.8%. Now, stock index futures pointed to a lower start for stocks on Monday. Investors will be sifting through the busiest week of earnings seasons, which will include results from Amazon Inc. AMZN plus 3.04%. Apple Inc. AAPL plus 1.37% uh, and Facebook parent Meta platform Meta plus 3.01%. Meanwhile, the Fed is almost universally expected to deliver a 25 basis point rate increase on Wednesday. That is a downshift from the series of outsized 75 and 50 basis point hikes it delivered over the course of uh, 2022. Now, data showing US inflation continues to slow down, peaking at uh, a roughly four decade high last summer alongside expectations for much weaker and potentially recessionary econ economy in 2023 have stock bets the Fed won't be as aggressive as advertised, but a pickup in gasoline and food price could make for a bounce in general inflation rate readings, he said, which would give power another cordial to beat back market expectations for easier policy in future meetings. Jackson Hole Redux. Now, Torres sees a setup heading into this week's Fed meeting as similar to the run-up to power speech at an annual central bank banking symposium in Jackson Hole, Wyoming last August, in which he delivered a blunt message that the fight against inflation meant economic pain ahead. That spelled doom for what proved to be another of 2022's many bear market rallies, starting a slide that took stocks to their lows for the year in October. But some questions 
some question how frustrated policy market makers really are in with the current backdrop. Sure, financial conditions have loosened in recent weeks, but they remain far tighter than they were a year ago before the Fed embarked on its aggressive tightening campaign, said Kelsey Barrow, portfolio manager at JP Morgan Asset Management in a phone interview. So, from a holistic perspective, the Fed feels they are getting policy more restrictive, she said, as evidence, for example, by the significant rise in mortgage prior rates over the past year. Still, it's likely the Fed's message this week will continue to emphasize that the recent slowing in uh, inflation isn't enough to declare victory and that further hikes are in the pipeline, Bureau said. Now, is it too soon for a shift? For investors and traders, the focus will be on whether Powell continues to emphasize that the biggest risk in the Fed doing too little on the inflation front or shift to a message that acknowledges the possibility the Fed could overdo it and sink the economy, Bureau said. She expects Powell to eventually deliver that message, but this week's news conference is probably too early. The Fed won't update the so-called dot plot, a compilation of forecasts by individual policymakers or its uh, staff econom economic forecast until its uh, March meetings. That could prove to be a disappointment for investors hoping for a decisive showdown this week. Sadly, this is a kind of meeting that could end up being anticlimactic, Bureau said.